With Flexitive, it's easy to build accessible design content. Today, I'm going to use this simple responsive design to show you how to activate a handful of different accessibility features, including enabling element tabbing, controlling the tab order of elements in your design, adding alt text to images, and enabling text scaling. To get started, I'm just going to jump into my one by one. Now, in the left-hand side navigation, you'll notice that there's an accessibility button here. And if I click on that, it's going to open up the accessibility panel. Now the accessibility panel looks and feels very similar to a standard layers panel in Flexitive with a couple small differences. The first main difference is that every single element will always be visible in the accessibility panel, regardless of whether or not it's actually visible in the design size that I'm working in. And you can see that here with this vertical version of my adaptive bean logo. The second difference is you'll see that there's this enable or disable element tabbing button here. Now, using this button, if I toggle that on for an element, this is going to make it so that when I go to preview my design, I will have enabled element tabbing for that element and I'll be able to use the tab button on my keyboard to navigate through the different elements on the design. This is important because it's going to make it so that if someone is using a screen reader, they can actually access the different elements in your design. Just going to hit save jump to the preview. And if I start using the tab button on my keyboard, you'll see that it's able to go through the different elements. In this case, the order is going to be coffee cup, logo, call to action, text. And doing it in my first size, that one by one, has actually applied it to every single size in my design. So as I go through these different elements, these different sizes, you'll be able to see that that exact same tab order is applied across all sizes in my design. Now, after I've applied tabbing to these elements, I may also want to change the order that this tabbing occurs in. For example, on this one by one, it makes the most sense for this to be read from top to bottom. So adaptive bean logo through to the adaptive bean button. Now I can change this by jumping back into the editor for my design and using the order laid out in this accessibility panel. As you can see right now, it goes in the same order as we just saw, coffee cup, logo, call to action, text, which we're going to want to change. However, just to make sure it's clear, I wanted to quickly cover the fact that this is the exact same order that you actually see in the layers panel here. It's going to go coffee cup, adaptive bean, adaptive bean coffee co, adaptive bean.com, text. Now you can change these independently from one another if you'd like. So I'll jump into the accessibility panel and I'm actually going to take this adaptive bean logo and bring it above the coffee cup. Similarly, I'll do the same with this celebrate coffee text. So now you can see that the order is going to be consistent with what I wanted. I'll just hit save. And then if I refresh my preview page, when I go through tabbing these elements again, you'll see that it now happens in the order that we wanted. So logo, coffee cup, text, button. And you'll see that this happens across all of my design sizes. Once again, if you make the change once, it'll be applied across the entirety of your design. So now that I've made it so that a user can access the different elements in a design via a keyboard, I also want to make it so that there is an alternative text property applied to the images. Now, an alternative text or alt text property on images is used with screen readers to make it so that those images can be described in a productive and helpful way. So for example, right now, if I jump over to the Adaptive Bean um, editor here, you'll see that in the accessibility panel, each one of these elements has this grayed out text below it if it's an image. Now, this is the alt text for the images, but because it's grayed out, we know that this is the default alt text that's being applied. By default, we will always use the actual image name. So for example, this adaptivebean.com button is adaptivebean-button.gif. Now, I may want to change this, and if I do, there are two different ways I can do that. The first one is directly within the accessibility panel here. I can change the layer order. I can change the alt text as such, adaptivebean.com button. And this means that if a screen reader uh, access sees this element on the design, it will know to read it as adaptivebean.com button. Now, the second way that you can change the, uh, the alternative text for an element is to select the element and to jump into the image settings panel. So for example, I've got this, uh, this um, logo here. I'm just going to jump into the image settings panel and you'll see that there is alt text here as well. So if I just change this to adaptive bean logo, 
that alt text is now going to be applied to the element. Now, as with the element tabbing and element tab order, this is a change that will affect all of your sizes at once. So you only need to do it once and it'll be applied across the entire design. I'm just gonna quickly save my design. And you'll also notice that when I go to change my preview, when I refresh my preview, sorry, that this has had no effect on how the images and text on the design are actually displayed. It's only going to have an impact if the user references the design via a screen reader. One final thing that I wanted to mention with, uh, with respect to alternative text is that it is, a, it is a property specifically designed for image elements. Um, you'll notice that in the editor, there actually isn't the option to add alternative text to this text element here. The reason for that is that text itself does not have an alt text property in HTML, and therefore it does not have the option to have alt text enabled in Flexitive. So the only elements that you'll be able to apply text uh, alternative text to will be image elements. Now, one final accessibility feature that I wanted to chat about today is the enable text scaling feature in the accessibility panel. Now you can see it's actually at the top of the panel here and by default, it is toggled off. Now, just to give you an idea of exactly what this feature can be used for, I'm gonna jump over to the preview page that we were looking in previously and open up the settings panel for Chrome. Now in Chrome, you can see that there's actually a font size option. If I change this from say the medium, which is the default and recommended size to very small or even very large, the text in this settings panel is changing size accordingly. However, you'll also notice that the text in these different flexible designs is remaining the same size no matter what I choose. Now this is because enable text scaling is actually turned off in flexitive right now. And I can change this by jumping back into the editor for my design and toggling this on. Now doing so is going to enable text scaling for every text element on every size of my design. So if I hit save now and I return back out to my preview page, I'm just gonna quickly refresh that. And while we wait for that to load, we'll just open up the settings panel again and you'll be able to see now that as I switch through the different font sizes, the text in my flexitive design is also going to change sizes, whether I go to very large or very small, the text is going to adjust based on the settings I set here. Now, one thing that's important to remember is that this font size setting is applicable only to text elements, not to all text in your design. So if you are adding text via an image, it is not going to be affected by this font size. And you can see that with this, this adaptive bean call to action button here or the logo here. In those cases, while the regular text elements are changing size, that text is remaining the same. So if you want any text in your design to be scaling with this uh, font size setting within the browser, make sure to add it via a text element. And that's everything I wanted to chat about today regarding uh, accessibility options in Flexitive. If you do have any questions, best way to get in touch is via the contact support button at the top of your screen here. But otherwise, thank you so much for joining and hope you have a great day.